Hey there, people! I'm your friend and neighborhood Let's Plays, but I want to welcome you back to Thimbleweed. Hi. So I got to the place where we last left off, so let's try to do this. Not really sure what I need to do, actually, because I don't have any instructions on how to do this. Hmm. Looks like a strange floppy disk. It's... I wonder if that will affect this some way, somewhere, somehow. At least now I will be extremely careful with this device. Uh, it takes the treasures. Heading east will. I don't think this will help me at all. This doesn't say it because what I need is some kind Morning, of a SR01 robot. What I need is some kind of a code from somewhere. That jumper board is for an SR01 robot security system. Hmm. I wonder where I could get the help for this. I mean, making the phone call for the security system doesn't help me. So let's uh, have a conversation with everybody. Well, um. thanks for chatting. No new topics to discuss, apparently. Hello, Agent Reyes. I don't feel, but I suspect it. Yeah, yeah. I need to go. Just the same old topics as before. Where could I find some help for this? There might be something at the mansion, mansion. There's gotta be something in here. Either the library or something in Uncle Chuck's room. I need to figure out how to open the safe. Can I use the safe? I knew it wouldn't work for me. How do I dust for fingerprints around here? I don't have any stuff to dust with. Except specks of dust. Would that even work? That doesn't seem to work. Nah, yeah, didn't think so. Uh... It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. So it's one of those moments again where I just don't know what to do and how to do it. Well, Nothing in here but broken Tron 3000 vacuum tubes. I do know what I need to do, but I don't know how to do it. Can I pull the painting back into its place? Yep. Don't know why I would do that anyway, because the safe is more important to us. Can I take this crowbar and start bashing freaking droids? <sighs> it's odd that I cannot use this floppy disk. In her Commodore 64, because it's the proper shape for for it, pretty much. It doesn't work in that. The disc is in the wrong format. How is it in the wrong format? Okay, hint line, you're going to help me now. At least Welcome that, help. at least it exists, so it might help me a little bit. Help, killer guard robots. Have you looked at the panel to the left of the open archway in the box? Get your most technical character to look at it. As we have done that. It sounds like you'll need a manual. Where would you find that? Either... Thank you. I mean, she doesn't have any manuals. These here. are my cur This is my complete. 
These are just fictional books. These are. This is my complete set. Yep. So her own room is not going to help me, but maybe the library helps. So we can find a manual. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000. I see there is a manual on the SR01 security yes. system. It's in section 2.1. So it's up here. So let's go over there and try to find it. <coughs> so at least, I was, at least I was correct on that. It should be in the <coughs> library. <coughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Just tickly in the throat. Uh, lamb. Aha! There it is. Programming the SR1. SR01. Chuck Edman. SR01 security robot is the most aggressive secure in the Pillotron trademark too. Otherwise, for a backward side face, this radar provides complete coverage of the air uh, custom floor ground. Ignore the three laws of To ignore the three laws of robotics is extremely dangerous if used incorrectly. Holy shit, how did you do that? Well, easily. Don't program any of them in there. Okay, let's see. Get the notepad out. Every two or two, three weeks, the robot should be shut down for maintenance by jumping. Okay, so red. C45. The green. H six and the blue to H four five. How can you put the green and the well? Maybe they did stack. Okay. Maybe they should only be performed by qualified and certified tech. By reading this manual, waive any right to sue Pilotronic trademark for death or dismemberment. Now I can reprogram those guard robots. Yep, let's do it. Let's do it. So actually, I could, I figured it out on my own. I am a smarty span, a smarty pants now. Hey, <laughs> hey. So there we go. Just gotta remember those. La -di 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 da. It's also amazing that they are Those are two agents Or at least they are Portraying themselves as agents But they don't have any guns Why won't, If they had guns they would just shoot those bastards I can't go out there Those robots would kill me I'm just gonna get everybody down here because uh, that's what they're what they are here for all of them They all have a reason to be in this uh, factory. So let's them let them uh, Let them group up Group up down here And we shall see what happens Also, we'll have to hopefully I will never have to use a brick of C4 here Hopefully. Warning, SR01 robots in patrol mode. So red is C45. Danger, danger, SR01 robots in attack mode. SR01 robots in maintenance mode. It is now safe to enter factory. That should disable the robots. Score. It looks all clear now. Yes. So, Dolores, this was your... Why would Uncle Chuck need to make a human-looking robot AI? Okay, which one of you is a robot? Also, I forgot to show last time <clears throat> from the yesterday's recording. I actually forgot to show you that I... When I had to redo everything because of the mistake that I made, I actually gave the battery to Ransom and I sent Ransom to recharge the battery on the electrified fence and you can see here what he looks like when he they when it shows his skeleton. Kind of a weird thing that he has that huge huge crack in his skull. 
you can only wonder what the hell happened to him and it you can also clearly see that it has never been covered up so apparently something really bad happened to him in the past which caused that huge hole in his skull and there is no plating on there so he pretty much has an open cracked skull under his skin and under that afro no wonder he's so freaking crazy all the time why are all these computers on well maybe the ai has kept it on all the time how do you know that that's an ai head usually it would be called a robot head can we talk to it no nope. can we use this that doesn't seem to work can we use this that doesn't seem to work can we pick it up? i don't want to pick that up Things are certainly weird around here. It looks like an iron lung. Than anything else. Any more specks of dust? I'm just missing one. These computers shouldn't be powered on. Yeah, but for some reason they are. Well, let's keep on. Aha! The last one! Da, 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 da. I have all the specks of dust and I got no achievement for it probably when I play the game through I virus a stuff? virus uncle Chuck must have been trying to cause damage to something that's the uh, hacker boot disk that we have looks at because that's a floppy disk right there Aren't they installing viruses of all things? That picture looks familiar. Kind of like Thimbleweed Park without any buildings. So it must be extremely old. Good place to get a drink. Why not get a drink? Fantastic voice act voice acting right there. Goop goop. <laughs> it looks like I'm getting closer. I might be getting close now. I'm just gonna get everybody to where I hope I didn't get in over my head. Hopefully. This is troubling. Very. So let's get everybody in this area now. Because why not? Ooh, creepy. This is very odd. You are very insightful there, mister. I didn't know so many computers were needed to make pillows. Well, as you can tell, or not tell because you're not the smartest around, Reyes, they're not making pillows anymore. How can a machine get a virus? That sounds impossible. Yeah, he's totally computer non-savvy. Doesn't even understand that computers get computer viruses. These better be bots. <laughs> computers, nothing but trouble. I'm sure that they are not beep bots. Trust me. What? Ever. Yeah. As expected. Nothing a little penicillin can't cure. I should know. I don't want to know any more about how many penicillin shots you've gotten. Uh, well, let's take a look around here. It's locked with a foolproof electronic locking mechanism. Hmm, interesting. It's a door. It's a door. That's a door too. Also, an it's exit. a door. Exit. This must be a way out. Hooray! You know what an exit door is, or what it means. So this is the uh, destroyed part of the factory, apparently. Well, let's go it's to the locked. Really? It's the only door that we could open. Or not. Well, at least we can get out, if we want to. And we don't. Well. Huh. 
has the office key? Reyes? No. Ransom? Yes. <clears throat> so, freaking finally, we actually get to use the office key. Yep. Ooh, the pirate hat. And this is the room that we saw before Chuck passed away. Does that mean that Chuck is still alive, actually? Because we saw him in this uh, environment. That looks like Uncle Chuck's journal. Let's read it. Volume 2. 3668. It is true. All it makes sense now. Where is Dolores' mother? Interesting. Be spending more and more time in the lab with the AI and our text adventure. It's unlocking some interesting mysteries. My previous assumptions about it and the world seem to be correct. More research and falling deeper into this rabbit hole. Wait a minute, that was entry 5129, that's 5201. More research and falling deeper into the rabbit hole. All things I never considered before are making sense. Thimbleweed Park has 80 residents but 3,000 people in the phone book. It didn't make sense until I considered the impossible. Same entry number. Oh my god, this is terrifying. The AI says there is only one way, but I've started to suspect it. Is it telling me the truth? We are being watched. I am being watched. The AI is not what it says it is. I am now convinced the AI is not an AI at all, but something else. Something from a different world. The same world the people from the phone book are from. I created a small Tron tube that de lives deep in my text adventure and it is uncoupled from us. It keeps counting up and up. We must be resetting. I need to go deeper. The deeper I go, the less they can watch me. They aren't paying attention to what, what happens below. They are only watching at the surface. Fools. Franklin keeps trying to get the factory restarted to make stuffed animals. I can't let this happen. My world will be discovered. I need more power. Reverse radio transmissions might do it. The entry numbers are going either the same number or now it's going back, backwards and then forwards. Franklin has been taken care of. I'd feel bad if he was my real brother. Franklin called a foreign investor to come in and evaluate the factory for a possible investment. The AI says I need to stop this. I don't know if I can trust the AI. Maybe I can. I have a plan to deal with the foreign investor. I'll set the gears in motion. I can't tell if everything is unraveling or coming together. Another reset. I can feel them now even without the uncoupled tube. The Pilotron machine is done. The text adventure is perfect. I don't think they noticed. I can hide there. But before I go, I need to leave Dolores some clues. If anyone can figure it out, it's her. This has to stop. There's only one way. I'm sorry. Ignorance is truly bliss. If only I had stayed ignorant. If I just let Franklin make his stuffed toys, we'd be rich and ignorant. Living in... Living in... I can't think about this. This is my last journal entry. I'd say more, but they can read this. I've hidden the clues all around Simpleweed Park. I need to be careful they are not noticed by them. They need to think it was their idea. Dolores will see through it. Please, Dolores, be as smart as resourceful as I know you are. Goodbye. So, are they living in the Matrix? Well, actually, not Matrix. I think... Chuck figured out... that he lives... in a computer game. And I know that all the names in the phone book are the people who helped kickstart this game. So... Chuck came, became self-aware of this world not being a real world, and instead all the names in the book are real people in our world. Woo! That's a lot of... Uh, heavy info. Damn. Very cool. But I'll continue from here. So thank you everybody for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care people, bye.